Coachella, as we all know it, is always a star-studded event. I mean, from the A-list celebrities performing on the main stage to the VIP guests watching them from the crowd, it is always just such a swell time. And as per usual, the 2024 edition did not disappoint us. Now, even though this was a festival in itself, we still surely expected our favorite celebrities and influencers to show up in their stunning looks. And while some curated fashion-forward looks Others just went a little too literal. So here are the top 10 best and worst dress as Coachella 2024. Take a look. First up on our list, we have the stunning goddess Tayana Taylor. And for Coachella 2024, she had on this multicolored jumpsuit moment and a faded cropped leather jacket. And I think she looked totally fire in this look. And you could totally tell that she was just ready to have the time of her life at Coachella. And I really loved it. Now, I just really love the way she has styled this look up with the scarf, the cowboy hat, and those chunky sneakers. I think this look overall just comes together really nicely. However, is this the look I really want to talk about or dissect? Not really. Now, can we just give it up for Tayana? In this mesh, see-through, denim-inspired maxi dress by Acne Studio. I mean, I just feel like this is the perfect Coachella look that just channels that element of like comfortability whilst you serving us the fashion. I just love how this look keeps you guessing about what it truly is. I mean, is it denim? Is it mesh? Is it a combo of both? Well, I guess we'll never know and that in itself just makes it like really good grant to me i also just really love how she has styled this look up i mean with a cowboy hat that is very like cowboy cara inspired i mean and those denim tall boots by balenciaga i think this look just really comes together quite beautifully overall i can say that tayana really served us something to talk about at coachella and this look is definitely a hot for me up next she is the fashion icon we have rihanna and this was another person that really showed up and showed out for coachella now we all know that while some people show up to coachella super easy breezy and just ready to have a good time others really take out their time to create look and i feel like rihanna is definitely one of them and we're just about to get into the fashion moment that she served us now the first look we'll be looking at is this all black look that i think she had on for day one of coachella and she has paired this look with those nude full four and those leather thigh high boots and i thought she really looked great in this ensemble i love the stack of jewelry and the glasses and just how her hair is done you can tell that she was going for that street style type fashion and i think she overall just achieved that now for the second day she had on this nude tone inspired look and there was definitely such a grandness to this look that i really loved and i really enjoyed it now the way the top fits that super interesting and intricate skirt moment that we have with the sagging illusion and the knot the long fur jacket over her arms and those lueve over the knee boots you can tell that she just gets it when it comes to the fashion now the big question is will rihanna be standing and dancing the night away just in true coachella fashion maybe maybe not but was this still giving me a great fashion moment absolutely so yeah this look by rihanna definitely served us high street style and it's a heart for me up next on our list is someone who in the same vein as rihanna served us look back to back and we absolutely loved it we have the beauty god bretman rock and for coachella 2024 he had a wide array of looks but two definitely caught our attention now for the first look we'll be checking out we have this white and black look by stella mccartney and he was styled by the incredible brian miller and while this look was more on the fashion side for coachella i actually still loved it it. now this look was giving me very jack sparrow realness with those long sleeves and i was really getting my life from it now while i really loved this look and i really thought it was amazing i totally just fell in love with his other look that he served us on the second day and it was this look by d square from their fall winter 2024 collection and i know you might be like i've seen this look somewhere oh yes you have now doichi wore this exact same look for the iheart radio award 
earlier this month and while i really love that joechi really still killed this look while still staying true to you know the way it was styled on the runway i love that bretman just took this look to a whole nother level and that to me is what fashion is really all about now i love when a person can totally switch up a look in an unexpected way and still slay it at that and i feel that is exactly what bretman did for coachella i really love the addition of those blue jeans and those brown chelsea boots i think that it just worked to create a wow fashion moment overall i was definitely leaving for this look by bretman so it's a hot for me up next we have our dainty doll diva we have paris hilton and for coachella 2024 she had on this neon green mesh tone two-piece by self-portrait and i think she looked smoking hot in this look tonight now she previously had on this black look for day two with a cowboy hat and that one i did not really love because i mean it just did not stand out to me but this one i just really thought it had that oomph i was looking for and i absolutely loved it this look was bright it was colorful it was fashion and it just fit great on her and i mean what more could i really ask for now i also really love the furry green bag that she has paired this with along with that matching coat i just thought that this look was a cute little set overall and it just looked amazing on her so yeah this look by paris hilton is definitely a hot for me the last diva on our best dress list will be the beautiful alexandra ambrosio and for coachella 2024 she had on this silver cropped monkey jacket with those super intricate interesting pants with butterfly motifs and a brown over jacket and i think she knew she was eating the girls up in this look and i totally loved it now there's just something really boho chic about this look and i just love how all the pieces combined just worked to give us a lovely fashion moment now i love the jacket i think that those monkey type jackets are very much in style now i love the low rise pants i think there's just a sexiness that it exudes i also really love the way she has styled this look up together i mean just the bag with fringy details the brown cuban hued boots and the stack of jewelries it just works without looking really chaotic so yeah this look by alexandra ambrosio was definitely serving me a boho chic moment and it's a hot for me Starting off our wash dress list for Coachella, we have the super talented Chloe Bailey and for Coachella 2024, she had on this silver and gold look with a blue denim bomb shot and this was giving me very Night of Camelot mid street style and not in a very flattering way. Now, while I did enjoy the look that she used for her performance by MacFast, this one on the other hand just felt really chaotic to me. Now, I just don't feel like all the pieces that she put together just worked together for me and it was just really mad to me. Now, let's say this top was a mini skirt. It just would have worked better than pairing that top with those denim shorts also the silver and gold combo just in different shades just really hits my eye in such a weird way and i just feel like it was serving me pure chaos overall i feel like there were just better ways to have styled this look up so this look didn't just do it for me and it's a chop for me up next we have the beautiful megan fox and for coachella 2024 she had on this black active wear type short dress and I know it's Coachella and a lot of people are not really thinking about the looks and the fashion. But I mean, just a little more effort would have gone a long way in just selling this look to me overall. I feel like this was such a missed opportunity when it came to styling. And I was just not impressed by this. Now imagine if she had paired this look with a four or like leather over jacket and just like a thigh high boot. That in itself would have just elevated this look for me. I hate, hate, hate those clear heels and the glasses in itself just felt very comical to me overall this look was very bland and boring so it's definitely a chop for me up next we have the super handsome barry keegan and for coachella 2024 he had on this white versace tank top and this printed shorts by burberry and i don't know there was just something really tacky about this label on label moment he's wearing i mean from the burberry printed shorts and neckerchief that makes him look like a signpost to the versace tank top that was definitely giving billboard and not in a good way i don't know this was just a bit all over the place for me i mean just 
just a little more effort would have been appreciated when it came to like the styling of this look maybe an over jacket would have worked maybe some boots would have definitely elevated this look but this one in itself was just not giving me anything so yeah this look by barry was definitely lazy and it's a chop for me up next we have the stunning Loki Reinhardt and for Coachella 2024 she had on this cream lacy two piece and I mean Chelsea come on now I mean what was this I mean what was the inspiration behind this and why did she ultimately think that this was going to be such a slay out here I mean this definitely looks matronly and it definitely just looks like something I would get out of an old antique box but then again maybe she went thrifting I mean it's giving thrifting <laughs> well this still looks a no-no for me i mean there was just no elevation to it it lacked sense of style and it just felt drabby overall overall loki did not definitely impress anyone with this look so it's a chop for me finally on our wash dress list we have amber rose and for coachella 2024 she had on this neon green versace jumpsuit and this right here was another tacky brand printed moment and it was definitely giving me billboard and not in a good way i mean i really just don't leave when people have designer printed brand and with that they still have like the printed accessories alongside it i mean she had on the jumpsuit and then the same printed baseball hat and then the same bag it was just a bit too much for me this was chaotic it looked tacky and it was definitely not the vibe for me so yeah this look by amber rose was borderline tacky and it's a chop for me all right guys we've come to the ending of today's video in today's video i share with you guys my top 10 best and worst dress at coachella 2024 if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up it helps me a lot and yeah i will definitely see you guys in the next one but for now it is bye guys au revoir